Okay, so once again, good morning students who are here at school and to those who are staying at home, okay? Uh, once again, good morning. So I'm Teacher Yat and today we'll be having a short review regarding your, uh, regarding our past lessons, okay? So last time, you can answer at home, you can answer on your, on your uh, uh, screen. And for those who are here, they can also answer me here. Okay, so last time, we learned about sounds, right? We, start, we learned about sounds. And what did we say about sound? What did we say about sound? Who can define what is sound? Anyone? We said that sound is a vibration, right? We said sound is a vibration, it's an energy. It is a type of energy that comes from the vibration of an object. Okay, for example, I am talking now. So I am making a sound. Why? How did I make a sound? Because of the vibration of my vocal cord. Okay, can you try to speak? You say, good morning. Say, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you touch your neck. Say, good morning. Good morning. Can you feel the vibration? Yes. Yes, there is a vibration on your vocal cord that creates sound. Okay, and when the sound, when you produce a sound, you are the sound source. Okay, you are the sound source, and we learn about the two types of sound source. What are the sound sources? What are the two types of sound sources? We have number one. Natural source and man-made source. Very good. We have the natural source and the man-made source. Okay. So what are natural sources? Can you give me example of natural source? Uh, oh, these are the source. Uh, yes? Again? One more time, please. Air. Okay. The air breeze, the sound of the air. That's right. Very good. Any sound that comes from the nature or from animals one is the sound of the air when it's very uh, windy you can feel you can hear the breezes okay what else what if it's raining how do you call that one sound of the sound of the water or sound of the rain oh what about can you give me example of sound of animal Sound of the cat. How do you do the sound of the cat? Again? Okay, that's the sound of a cat. <laughs> so that is a natural sound. Now let's go on. Let, let's proceed to man-made source. When you say man-made source, it comes from human. It comes from people and the things that is made by human. Oh, me, I am... What I'm, uh, what I, what I am uh, giving is sound, uh, sound coming from a human because I am a human. Okay. What else aside from me talking? Can you give me more examples? The sound of the fan. The sound of the fan. Very good. Oh, you listen outside. What did What did you just hear? The sound of the car. The sound of the car of the vehicle. Okay, when I tap the table, did you hear a sound? Yes. Yes. I made I made a sound using the table. Uh, that is a man-made sound. Okay, so those are the two types of sound sources. Next. Okay. Uh, we are ready. This is just example of man-made. Man-made or natural? Natural. Natural. That is a thunder. Another example. A waterfall sound is natural. natural sound. Very good. This one. Natural sound. Okay, not said it's a natural sound. 
It's frog ribbiting. The sound of the frog is called ribbit. 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 Frog ribbiting. Okay, let's proceed to the examples of man-made sound. That's a fireworks. That's a piano sound. People chatting, people talking to each other. That is that is example of man-made source. Okay, let's proceed to the medium of sound. Okay, when we say medium of sound, so uh, when we say medium of sound, these are the things that the sound travels through. We have three types of medium of sound. Can you still remember? Yes. Can you give me one? Solid. Solid. So the three types, number one is solid. Liquid, very good. Gas. And gas. Okay, so we have three types of medium of sound. So the solid, liquid, and gas. Example of solid, anything that has mass, anything that has shape. Okay. Yes, solid. For example, this wire is solid. This table is solid. I am a solid. This pointer is a solid. This blackboard is solid. Okay. Next, liquid. Can you give me example of liquid? Water. Water. Very good. Example of liquid is water. An example of gas is oxygen. Air. Oxygen or air. Very good. Example of gas is oxygen. So me, the sound that I make now is traveling through the air, which is gas. Okay. I am talking, and the sound that I make travel through the medium of sound which is the air and then let's move on to the receptor and the sound that I make goes travels uh, through the air and the receptor which are your ears receive the sound that I make okay what is the receptor is it our eyes yeah. what no. it's our no. ears. ears very good from the sound source, my mouth, from the medium, which is the air, from, I, I mean, going to your ears. That's how travel, that's how sound travel. Okay, so uh, we still have five minutes. So we also learned about the steps in, uh, steps in hearing sound, but we're, we are going to do it next time. For now, I'm going to explain your homework, okay? Your homework will be, you're gonna bring materials. What are the materials that you're gonna bring? I think I did not include it here, but uh, I will send you later. Teacher Oil will send you later, okay? So what are the materials that you're gonna bring? You're gonna bring two cups of paper cup. Yes, yes, yes. Let me write it. Okay, two paper clubs. You know what are two paper clubs? Cups. You used to drink. You can find that on 7 Eleven. What else? One scissors. Scissors. What is scissors? And Scissors. And then one yarn or String. Yarn or a string? What is yarn or a string in Thai? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that are uh, those are these are the things that you're gonna bring. Two paper cups. Two. One scissor. Only one scissor and one yarn or a string. But we're gonna do it for the student who are here. We're gonna do it by twos. Okay. Two student. You're gonna bring uh, two paper cups. Two students are gonna bring one, only one scissor and one string. Did you understand? Yes. yes. Okay. So since you're only seven, we have four groups. Maybe the the student who is left will be um Uging. Uging will yeah. come teacher. Mm. So you are eight, so we have four groups. Okay? 
ข้าใจเนาะหนูจะแบ่งครูจะแบ่งกลุ่มออกเป็นทั้งหมดสี่กลุ่มนะคะก็คือกลุ่มหนึ่งจะมีสองคนเพราะว่าจะมีอุ้งยิงมาอีกคนหนึ่งใช่ไหมคะโอเคเนาะโอเคฮ่ but for those who are at home you can also do it with your parents or with your siblings okay uh, we are going to do the experiment next time okay สำหรับนักเรียนที่อยู่ทางบ้านนะคะออนไลน์นะคะให้นักเรียนทำกับครอบครัวนะคะการทดลองนี้นะคะเดี๋ยวทีเชอร์จะส่งวิดีโอไปให้ดูว่ามันทำอย่างไรบ้าง so that's all for today okay so that's all so for our grouping